So first of all, we're gonna look for season of creation events. And this is the first option that we need to pick. And basically we can click on register an event or scroll all the way down. But yeah. First to register an event, you need to create an account. In this case, I don't have one. So we're gonna go to this option, which is register. First, you're gonna pick um, a user and you're gonna write down your email. I already have it here. And we click on register. So right now they're gonna send me an email. So we need to check it to confirm our password and then we can log in and create our, our event. So here's the email and we click on the first link to confirm our password. Um, I'm gonna create a new one, not this one. And the time saving and just like a reminder, we're gonna save it and we are ready to go. Then we press on login and we put in here our user or our email address and our password. And if you want, you can click on remember me so that you can create more events. And finally, we present login. So here you're gonna have my events, add new, upcoming events, and past events. We don't have a upcoming event, so we're gonna create a new one here in add new. Here you're gonna put or type your a even title and what is it about or what are you gonna be doing there then you're gonna select the event time and the date let's say our event will be on july the 14th at 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on that same day. Then we're gonna select our time zone. You can either select it here, which is UTC minus five or plus one, or you can also here at the bar look for your time zone. In this case, I'm gonna choose Guatemala and I'm gonna look for it. Also, you can press in here if it's an all day event and over here, if you want to schedule multiple events. Let's say you want to do one multiple event. So here you can choose by daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or once. I'm gonna choose weekly. And here's every, how much time, how many times do you want to, to repeat that? I'm gonna put two on Tuesdays at the same time that I that I posted here and when it's gonna end. And here you can hide the details to add uh, more information about the event, either if it's one more event or an exclusion and a description about their recurrence. And if you want just to have one single event, not um, an event series, you can delete the information here. Press delete and there it is. Then you can uh, upload an image for your event. In this case, I'm gonna choose this one just as an example. 
And if you chose the incorrect picture, you can remove it and then upload it again. For the event status, you're gonna press on a schedule because the one that we made it here, it's a scheduled or if it's canceled or postponed. And yeah, we press on select, sorry, scheduled. And here are the venue details, where it's gonna be the event. And if it's gonna be online, it's just necessary to um, put on the website and maybe um, in venue name, you can put on um, online. So we're gonna put this Guatemala, select a country. Here you can find it by scrolling down or here at this bar, you can look for one specific and save a little bit of time. We finish completing the information and in here we put the link where the event is gonna be happening. Over here are the organizer events. In this part, we're gonna put our name or the name of the organizer and basically the, that information, our phone, the website, and the email. And if you want to add another organizer, you can pick this option. Or if you want to delete this information and submit a new one, you can press in here and start all over again. And here you can add the event website. We're gonna put this link of season of creation. And here are some additional fields, which is the last part. Um, you're gonna select, select here, basically is your information, which program you are what type of event it is, if it's an economic, ecumenical prayer service, elder prayer service, um, other online event, other in-person event, or other. I'm gonna choose um, other online event. And in language, this in this case, we're gonna pick English. And there we go. We click on submit event and we wait for the submission to be completed. All right, as you can see here, the, uh, the event approval may take up to 24 hours. So in case you you wait for it, for the approval to be immediate, it is not like that. It's gonna take about 24 hours and you're gonna check the status of your event. Also, you can uh, delete it uh, clicking right here, edit some details, if you um, messed up something or you can view it. Okay, so right here you can check on that your event is already um, published and approved. So you can check it also on the um, upcoming events And over here, you can view the details and also edit it or delete it. In case you wanna view it or check more specific details about it, over here is gonna be the picture that you uploaded, it, the general details about the event, about the organizer, it, the last information that you selected and the venue. 